Mm. It's rich and tangy and lemony and it just makes you my run water. Hello friends and welcome back to Sadie's Kitchen. We are going to make some delicious yogurt today. And you may be wondering how are we going to make yogurt and why should we make yogurt when we can go to the grocery store and just buy three containers for a dollar or whatever. But I tell you what, when you make your own homemade delicious yogurt, you will never want to buy store-bought yogurt again. So we are going to get started. I'm going to share a few things with you today. But before we get started, I want you to know that all we're going to need to make this yogurt would be four delicious ingredients. And my good old favorite appliance here, my Instant Pot. And a little bit of patience because it's going to take a little while to do this to make this easy instant vanilla yogurt. Now, it's going to be thick and creamy and you can add delicious toppings to it. And I'm going to show you how to make the toppings too. Uh, strawberry topping, um, we'll make a blueberry topping and then a lemon curd, my favorite. I love lemon yogurt. So we're gonna get started and I wanna share a few things with you before we do. I want to share some of the benefits of eating yogurt. And the very first one is consuming yogurts uh, contains a lot of probiotics. And probiotics are good for your gut, good for your tummy. Uh, one of the things that people don't know is that you should eat your yogurt first thing in the morning on an empty stomach because that's when the probiotics really work. They work on the empty stomach and they work to um, decrease all of those bad enzymes that are in your stomach and add in all the good probiotics. So yogurt makes for an excellent probiotic. Yogurt also aids in the digestion of your foods in your stomach. And so uh, many of you may have a few stomach problems like diarrhea, bloating, irritable bowel syndrome, but yoga can help eliminate all of these things too. Uh, it's full of calcium and vitamin D, which helps to strengthen your bones. So you surely want to eat lots of yoga, but I tell you when you eat the homemade yoga, you're gonna go, what have I been missing? So, to improve your overall body immune system, eat yogurt, the best thing for you. And for you ladies out there, you really need to be eating yogurt because it will help with your yeast infections. Now, the first thing we're going to need, um, I'll already share it with you, is our Instant Pot. Now, you may be thinking, I don't have an Instant Pot, I don't want to use it. But if you don't want to use this Instant Pot, uh, there is a way that you can make your yogurt the same way I'm mixing it up today. And then you're going to put that oven uh, on warm and leave it in the oven all night. Whereas I'm going to just push a button, walk away from my Instapot and come back and it's going to be ready. You can do the same thing in the oven because it is so easy. I'm not selling Instant Pots. It's just that I really do love using it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to share this with you. This is the top to the Instant Pot. We are not going to use it. It is not necessary because we're not going to be pressure cooking anything. The top that you want to use comes with your Instapot. It's just a plain top. Just a plain instant top with a hole in it. And that's all we need. This is an insert that goes in the Instant Pot. It must say ultra filtered milk. You cannot use regular pasteurized milk from the store. This, this one says lactose-free, but that doesn't really matter. It's whole milk, uh, but this will let you know that it's the best thing for yogurt and it's going to mix well with all of the enzymes. You may not know yogurt makes new yogurt. We're going to pour this entire container of ultra-filtered milk into this container. Now, you may not be able to see all of this, but just know that you're only going to put three things in this pot. You see this big container of yogurt out here? We're not going to use all of it. Now, particular yogurt has all of the enzymes in it. 
bacteria that we need. Yogurt makes yogurt. You only need just a heaping tablespoon of this yogurt to put in with the mix. That is all you need. Now we're going to add one can of Eagle Brand milk. Now you may be asking yourself the question, why can't I just put some sugar in it or some sugar-free sugar or whatever? You have to use a milk-based sugar. And sweetened condensed milk is the only one that's milk-based. You cannot uh, use like agave or any other kind of sugars that you'd want to use right now. You can use that later on, but to get this started, we're going to use a milk-based sweetener, which is Eagle Brand Milk. And we'll put this in here. Get it all out. I love Eagle Brand Milk. I think it's the best thing that's ever been made for cooking in the kitchen, for making all kinds of desserts. Then you're gonna take your handy dandy whisk here and you're going to mix this and just make sure it's mixed up really well, especially that Eagle Brand milk and that yogurt. Okay, we have our milk and our yogurt and our um, sweetener all in here and it's, we're gonna move this over to the Instant Pot. So I'm going to drop the liner off in here. All right, once we put that in there, all you need to do is put this top on it. There you go. And because it's an Instant Pot, all we're going to do is hit the yogurt button. It will come up eight hours. I add one extra hour to my yogurt because I like for my yogurt to be a little bit tangy. Hit the button, mix those three ingredients together, and walk away from it. The last ingredient is vanilla, but we're not going to put the vanilla in until the yogurt sets. It's going to be really thick when we come back in nine hours and look at it. And we're back. We're back after nine hours of putting our yogurt in the Instant Pot and it is ready. Like I said, you can leave it in there for eight hours. That's what's gonna pop up on the Instant Pot. I leave it in there an additional hour because I like my yogurt to be kind of tangy. Remember, the, what we did here was we put um, our ultra filtered uh, Fair Life milk into the container. Then we put a little bit of Shabani um, plain yogurt with uh, live enzymes in our uh, milk and I think that was it and we put the can of Eagle Brand milk and remember that you must use uh, a milk based sugar you cannot put sugar in the milk and that's all we did and we clicked the button walked away from nine hours came back and here we are I want to show you we took our, our um, container out of the Instant Pot but I want to show you how to very carefully take uh, this off because there's water drippings all in the top here. Uh, last night when we took it out, I, very, I took the top off and there was water on it and I cleaned it. But while it was cooling, we have to let it cool in the refrigerator for another few hours until it gets really cold. And um, I put the paper towel in between the container and the top to keep water from dripping on the yogurt. So as I pull it up now, you can see that there's still lots of water on it. If you look inside, we're gonna have those drippings um, on the side. And so I'll take this paper towel and just wipe all of that water off because I don't want it to drip. And if some water drips off into your yogurt, all you have to do is take the paper towel and just kind of go around it and dab it on the inside. But we don't have any in there. And this is the consistency that we want. Remember, it was all milk. And now we have delicious yogurt. Yes, we made yogurt. It's simple, guys. It's very simple. You can do this, and it tastes so much better. But if you go to the grocery store and pick up a container of yogurt, you're going to find anywhere from 10 
to 15 ingredients in that yogurt container. We just have milk, Eagle Brand milk, and regular uh, ultra filtered milk in here. And that's it. So what we have to do now, we have one more ingredient we have to add, and that's our vanilla. So we have our whisk, that's all you need, and our vanilla, and we're gonna add it in. But then I also have some toppings over here that we're going to use uh, as we put our yogurt in our jars. And I know how to make lemon curd and blueberry and strawberry toppings. You can go to my other YouTube and you can watch it and I'll explain to you how to make this five minute, five minute lemon curd and just a few minutes for the strawberry and the uh, blueberry. I also want to share one other thing with you before we mix um, our yogurt. I have these little jars here and they are so cute. They're my little yogurt jars. And we got these, um, we ordered these from Amazon. If you go to Amazon, you'll find there are dozens and dozens and dozens of um, little yogurt jars that you can buy. I already have the tops to go with them. Most of them, um, if the tops ever break, you can reorder the tops by themselves. So. I always enjoy making these. So, so anyway, here we are. Thick, creamy yogurt that we made on our own. And I am going to add our, about two tablespoons of vanilla. And then we're gonna take our whisk and I want you to be able to see the consistency. See, it's really thick. It is very thick. And I am, I mean, it is so thick. I just want to get a spoon and show you how thick this is. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Have you seen Greek yogurt this thick? It's so thick. Okay. We're going to mix this up really good. I'm gonna have to put a little muscle in this arm. I think this is the thickest one that I've ever made. I can't say it turns out the same. It, start, it turns out the same every time, uh, but this one has been a little bit thicker than the other ones, and I don't remember doing anything different to it than I did to the ones before. Other than I use the last two batches, I use Walmart plain uh, yogurt with live cultures. And this time I used the Chobani Greek yogurt. So that might have made a difference. So now you can see it's creamy. The more you stir it, the creamier it gets. So now what we need to do, I want to just taste a little bit of this. It is sweet enough. You don't have to put anything else in it. I think Eagle Brand Milk did it. Now, if you wanted to add some regular sugar to this or some heavy whipping cream, um, you can do that and it will make it thicker. But you know, you know that if you use heavy whipping cream, you're going to double the amount of calories. This batch right here will make about 12 of these yogurt cups but if you put heavy whipping cream in here uh, at the very beginning it's going to be thick really really thick but you're going to have about 203 calories per container so you want to have 70 something or do you want to have 200 and something calories it's still sweet with the eagle brand milk and it's still thick um, it's just what your preference might be all right now we're going to fill a few containers so we'll just start off with our lemon so you can see what it's going to look like. I always kind of like to put some on, like on the sides. You're going to put it at the bottom. I hate to buy yogurt and get home and they say it, you have berries and there's like a thin, thin little level, level of blueberries on the bottom, but they're not really berries. So. I think it may be better if I put this on this side. We'll put our yogurt in here. We'll just do one. Let's 
So lemon curd is really awesome, guys. So we have lemon curd on the bottom, and then we'll put some lemon curd on the top. And that gives us one. How about a strawberry? You just put your berries in there and then turn it around like that. So you can have some on the side. You could just put it in there that way. And if you waste a little bit of it, that's okay. That's what we do in the kitchen. We make messes, right? That's what kitchens are about. When I had my little playhouse when I was a little girl, I made a lot of messes with my mud cakes and pies that I make. Okay. There we go. And then we have our lemon curd and our strawberry. Delicious. So, do you want to taste it? I'm gonna taste a little bit of lemon curd because lemon is my favorite. Very favorite. Mmm. It's rich and tangy and lemony and it just makes your mouth run water. The yogurt, it's not like the store-bought yogurt, guys. And put in our yogurt jars. Meantime, I would like for you to subscribe to Sadie's Kitchen and hit the like button if you like this. And go over to my other YouTube and watch how I make all of these delicious toppings. Share this video with your friends. Thank you for joining me in Sadie's Kitchen.